Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a simple bar graph in Google Sheets. So you can see I have my spreadsheet open and ready to go. I have some data already typed in that we're going to use to graph. My uh, first recommendation is to put in the titles for each column going vertically uh, down column A and the quantity associated with each one in column B directly next to it. For some reason this works out a little bit nicer when you actually create the graph. Um, once all the data is entered, you simply highlight everything, go up to the Insert Chart button and click. Um, it's going to recommend some options. If you go straight to Chart Types, you'll see the full spectrum of different graphs that the spreadsheet can create. Um, I'm going to click on the vertical bar graph, what it calls a column chart, and off to the right-hand side, you'll automatically see the uh, generated graph that you'll get. Now chances are good you want to edit this. One thing I always like to do is change my columns to be different colors. To do that you're going to want to click on switch rows and columns and probably also uncheck the box that says use row. In this case it's three but whatever it says for you. Um, and that should give you some nice nicely uh, colored columns for each type of data you're displaying. You can also choose to use column A as headers which will label in the key automatically uh, the different data labels you've entered. Uh, next thing you're going to want to do is go over and click on the customization tab. Um, this is where you can click and add in a title for the graph. You're going to want to make sure you do that. You can also adjust all sorts of different colors and font options. Um, if you want to adjust the legend or the key, you can do that here as well. Um, axes labels, horizontal and vertical, select each one and type in whatever um, units you want for the different axes. Um, if you want to adjust the colors of your columns, you can select one column at a time, H3O+. Plus. Maybe you want to use the color red, maybe for OH-, minus. select OH-, minus. you want to use the color blue, and CL-, minus. we can leave yellow, you can adjust all those. You can also add in data labels, which puts the actual numerical value of that particular bar on the bar itself. And then once that's all done, you simply uh, click insert at the bottom and the bar graph you created pops up in your spreadsheet. Now if there's additional editing you want to do, um, don't worry, you can always click on the quick edit mode and then right click on the chart area and you can continue to edit the title, legend, axes, series, colors, and everything else. And if you need to go back to the advanced options, just click advanced edit and you'll get the same window to pop back up with chart types, customization, and everything you were previously working on. Uh, and finally, chances are good that you're going to want to copy this chart into some other uh, document for whatever purpose it was created for. To do that, click on the chart area again. There should be a little pop-up arrow in the top right. Click it. You can uh, save it as an image file, which might be more convenient for some applications. If you're just going to put it into uh, another Google-based document, you can just copy the chart and then go to the document you want it in and paste, and it'll be there in, in the exact form that it is on the spreadsheet.